Yo, what's going on boys? So in today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to win your first Classic Challenge. So, we're going to be playing this Recruits Lumberloon deck. It's the best deck to win your first Classic Challenge. You're really good on defense, really good on offense. Recruits are like one of the best cards on defense and convert into a really valuable offensive card. So, how you want to win your first Classic Challenge? You want to play as passive as possible. No matter what deck you're playing, just play really safe. Find out what they're playing and then you can start making plays if you need to. But... One tip I have for you guys, don't play really aggressive unless they play really aggressive. Let them play into you. Most of the time, that's going to be a really good strategy. So, yeah, I can just go for recruits to the back. Don't need to do anything stupid. And I'm not going to pop my ability. You think it'll be a waste. Another tip I have for you guys is you got to... When you lose a game, just don't get tilted. Just take a break. Um, It's, it's li like... Okay, people... People take into account so many things, but I feel like the one they least take take accountability for is your mental. Like, your mental matters so much, and people just don't care about it. Like, if you lose a game, j just, um, take a break, bro. Like, it, it helps so much. Just do something you have fun doing. Like, something that can always make you happy. I don't know, like, taking a break to eat, or taking a walk, playing basketball, whatever. Just take a break and then come back, and I guarantee you'll play better. So, we we have a pretty good matchup here since it should be like 100 0 since he doesn't have Bomb Tower. If he had Bomb Tower, um, wouldn't be too good. Actually, it probably would since he can't really kill Balloon. But I could just go Recruits here. Play them a little bit high because I knew he was going to go Firecracker. I don't want it to be too much damage. Oh, uh, okay. So, we let the Firecracker die. It should be a lot of damage. Yeah, it is. Nice. Okay. So now, now that I'm up so much damage, I'm going to go for a balloon to finish his tower off, and then I'm going to arrows the firecracker, and he's not going to be able to defend. As long as I snowball this, it should be tower, right? Arrows? Yeah, that should be tower. Oh, uh, unless he goes ice spirit. Oh, it's not. Okay. So I'm just going to need to go fisherman like this. I already have king. And then lumberjack. Please, no, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I thought it targeted, wow, that gets a hit. Okay, I've been saying this for so long, Hog is broken. No questions asked, it is just a broken card. I, I can't believe they haven't nerfed it yet. It's been so long, without them getting fun nerfed, but it's all good. He plays a Hog into my LP, fine. Uh, please, bro, okay, I need to go. I think Lumberloon could be could be GG's. If I go Lumberloon. Bro, please stop. You're hurting me, bro. You're hurting me. You're hurting my ants. Oh my god, really bad firecracker. Really, really bad firecracker. He's dead, right? Arrows? Yeah, GG's. Let's go. Alright, I'll see you all in the next match. Apparently 10 and 1. Alright, in the next match. So, another tip I can give you for classic challenges is play a deck that you're most familiar with. I know I'm showing you guys this deck, and this deck is obviously really good in the meta, but I feel like a deck you know how to play trumps, like, anything good in the meta, in my opinion. As long as it's decent in the meta, then it should be, you should have a better chance of winning a classic challenge or grand challenge playing a deck you're familiar with. Than a deck you don't know, but it's like really good in the meta. So yeah, take that into like keep that in mind when uh, picking your deck because it is really important having a deck you play with. Like if you main minor poison, you probably should do minor poison for your first classic challenge. And this is gonna be a lot of damage. I think I need arrows, and then I think I'm gonna let that go. Yeah, that NATO really screwed me up. I didn't think he was gonna do that. Cause I could, if I if I killed the little prince, then it would have been fine. But at least now he doesn't have NATO in hand, and obviously balloon is really good. So with this next recruits push, I probably am gonna be able to take his tower. And he just goes for a barbell, so I'm just gonna let that go. Go recruits to the back, try and go for a balloon. That should be tower. Yeah, I can just go for a balloon, uh, opposite side of his little prince. So play your little prince, man. Come on. Do it. He's gonna do it opposite, I know. Uh, he doesn't. He goes for a knight. Okay. So, I guess I can snowball this. And that should be a hit. 
Wait, no, it's not. Please. Oh, he got lucky. Okay. So I can let this connect. I can just go for a lumberjack. No, I messed it up. Okay, should be fine. I I'm, I am gonna have to go skelly drags though. Uh, if I waited like a second, it would have been fine, but should still be fine. He does have lightning, which kind of okay. That was bad. I'm gonna go for a fisherman like this. And oh no, that pulls the bowler. Okay, that's not good. Hopefully he lightnings this. Cause then, fisherman please. Okay, we're good. And then I can go for a balloon on this side. Uh, lumberjack on this side. And... I'm gonna go for a snowball here since the cannon's dead. Oh, that was a good NATO. Wait! Wait, the balloon! The balloon! One! Come on, one more! One more! One more! Oh, let's go! That balloon! How did that not pull the king? I mean, I'm not complaining. I was really lucky. Wait, hold up. This fisherman. Wait, he can't lightning. <laughs> Let's go. We didn't expect the fisherman. Alright, arrows. Let's go. Alright, that's going to be GG's. Now we're 11 and 1. Just need one more to win the classic challenge. Let's go. Alright, 11 and 1. So, all we have to do is win this and we'll win the classic challenge. And I just want to let you guys know it's this far into the video and you're enjoying it. Make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, let me know if you guys can help me make that happen by just subscribing. But anyways, back to the game. And I can just go for Fisherman. You, you want to use your Fisherman a lot on offense. It's really valuable. And I feel like Fisherman is a really good pick for this deck because Bowler is really meta. And Fisherman is pretty much a hard counter to Bowler. It's like the best counter to it. So... Yeah, if you, if you don't like Bowler, I would recommend playing Fisherman. Because obviously, Bowler is really good against a lot of aspects of this deck. But if you can get a Fisherman on it, it helps out a lot. So it looks like we're going into the same deck that we just played against. Except that he's playing. And he just activated his King Tower. So this is interesting. I mean... We, did, we got a really bad start in, in that last game. So if we don't do that, we probably can win. I mean, he did activate his King, but... Don't. Another thing, like mental. Another mental help thing. Don't get mad at really small things. One time I was playing minor control, and in the first like minute of the game, I lost my entire tower down to 500 health. Uh, from like a mega knight because I didn't have. I cycled my knight and my minor, and then I lost like down to 500 HP, and then he got no damage for the rest of the game, and I won. So yeah, just don't let small things like that hurt you too much. And I can just go for a fisherman here to activate my king. See if he goes for an e-giant. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, uh, okay, so I can go for a lumberjack. And that's going to get pulled by the fisherman. So really bad ability on his part. Okay, he does go for an evil knight. Gotta go for a high little prince to try and take this out quick. Uh, is it? It should... Yeah, I'm not gonna go recruits. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try and push it. Oh, I pushed it towards. Wow, that was stupid. Okay. So I can go for a lumberjack here, probably. And just gonna die to the little prince, probably. But it's fine. I can fisherman. Fisherman just gets so much value in this matchup. It's a really bad lightning, obviously, because it's three elixir for six. You don't really want to be doing that. But I can just snowball this and should kill everything. Yep, pretty good defense, but how are we gonna break through? Did he did he NATO? I don't remember. Um I'm not sure. We need to bait out the NATO somehow. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna go recruits. He just cycled the bowler. Why not? Oh he wait, that was such a bad NATO. Hold up. He might be in trouble. He didn't even get any tower damage. Okay, Skelly Drags. Oh my god. Did he miss? He missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. That's one hit. Okay. One hit. Not, that's not the greatest, but it's not the worst either. Okay, Fisherman. Come on. Okay, really good Fisherman. Oh, okay. We're bare. Oh, what? What are these like? Or what are these Natos? These are terrible Natos. Okay, please kill the little prince. Okay, nice. Should die. And he's obviously going to go for a bowler. So I'm gonna go balloon. Wait, what? 
How is he gonna defend both sides? I can go Lumberjack now. And Cannon's gonna die. Snowball, just to get some damage. Come on. Oh, good NATO by him. But that Lumberjack, he has to overcommit with a little Prince. That's huge, okay. We're, pl we're actually playing this really well. And like I said, we're not overcommitting. We're playing safe, knowing when to go in. Really key factor and becoming better at the game. Winning your first classic challenge, winning your first grand challenge. Oh, he lightning. Wait, he's dead. He's got to be dead. Yeah, he's got so much to deal with there. Like I, like I was just talking about, if you play really safe, you can probably bait your opponent into do so doing something stupid, and then you can punish them for it. And that's what this deck does the best. It punishes mistakes. So if you just play really safe and let your opponent make the big decisions and make mistakes, then you can win easily. So yeah, it's going to be GG's. Because he I'm just going to keep cycling Lumberloons on him. And he's not going to be able to do anything. So, yeah, this is going to be game, probably. He is getting pretty close, but I feel like as long as I... Yeah, he just missed that. He's dead. GG's. So... Uh, wait, hold up. How did this get so close? Oh my god, <laughs> wait. If he just cycled to a lightning, I would have lost. Okay, that's going to be game, though. It's going to be the end of the video, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed. And yeah, let me know if these tips helped you. Bye.